Welcome to the homework for Grade 1, Module 1, Lesson 9. Take care of that first, write your name. And uh, we're making up our own word problems for this one. So, number one, it says use the picture to tell a math story. And uh, you, you can make up your own story, but we're going to write a number sentence for it. Tell the story. And this, these boxes are the ones, this is what we're going to use to tell the story. And you see there's something missing in the middle here, too. You don't need that circle there, but we're going to have to put something there. Uh, we could say that there were, you know, we've got sharks, right? So we've got a group of four sharks here. And we've got a group of four more sharks here. And we're going to add them together to get a total of eight sharks. Maybe they're chasing each other, maybe they're playing a game. And the number bond that matches this story, your story is probably going to be better than mine. We've got a total of eight sharks, four, and four are our add-ins. There are eight sharks. And you could have different numbers for this too, but it just kind of looks to me like there's a group of four and a group of four, and that's just kind of what I saw. And we have a similar thing here. We have a different picture where we have one, two, three, four, five, six. We have seven children. So our total is going to be seven for our number bond. But pay attention here because that's not a plus sign. That's an equals. Our plus sign is here, which means these are going to be the two add-ins, right? Because those are numbers we're adding together. And our total is going to be First, this time, this is one of those backwards number sentences, so be careful that you don't write your add-ins in the wrong place here. The add-ins have to go on left and right of the, of the addition symbol. So, you know, we just need some way to make a total of seven out of these kids. And for my story, I'm just thinking, it looks like we've got a soccer ball here, and everybody's smiling and happy, so maybe they're all at recess and they're having fun. Uh, you could sort them almost any way you want. There's one with their with her hand raised, so you could have uh, one and six, right? Uh, you can say that there's it looks like there's one, two, three girls and four boys. You could separate them that way. I mean, just any way you can make up a story about these kids being at recess. But I'm going to say that there are seven happy kids and zero sad kids. So those are our add-ins, 7 and 0. And that there are a total of 7 students. And uh, now we're on to the next page. Uh, draw a picture to match the story. You have to draw the picture, right? We're going to read. We're going to draw a picture. And then we're going to write our number sentence and our answer. So Jim has four big dogs and three small dogs. How many dogs does Jim have? Now when I draw uh, math pictures, they're not fancy pictures, they're not art pictures, they're just pictures of things I can count. So um, they tend to be pretty simple pictures. But here's how I draw the dogs. So I need, I need four big dogs, I need three small dogs. Three small dogs, so here's my, my big dogs. Um, they have four legs and a tail and a head. Dogs. I'm gonna make that. I'm gonna fix that one and make it a big dog. One, two, three, four legs. One, two, three, four legs. One, two, three. You can probably draw better dogs than I can. And I don't want, really want to spend much more time giving them. These are just math math pictures. I can. You know, I don't want to be too much more detail than that. Uh, and 
I need three. Now I need the three small dogs, right? And I could just lay. I could label these B for big, right, and S for small. Uh, small dogs are gonna be little guys here. There's only three of them. Big dogs and small dogs. So I have four big dogs plus, right? There's the that's addition, right? Plus three small dogs is a total of seven dogs. So Jim has seven dogs. That's the W we're writing. And here's our last one. Liv plays at the park. She plays with three girls and six boys. How many kids does she play with at the park? So there's the R. We just read it. And she's playing with all three girls and six boys. And we're only counting the kids that she plays with. So we're not counting Liv. So we have, we're going to read it. We just read it. Now we're going to draw a picture. And then we'll, we'll write our answer later. RDW. All word problems. So three girls, and I just draw stick people, and I draw little triangles for girl bodies. You can give them more, a little more detail than that if you like, but my pictures, you can draw you know, hair and smiles on them and stuff, but I tend to draw faceless stick people for my math, and so I just want pictures I can count. There's three girls, and I can just label them with a G, and the six boys, are the boys are just going to be... So, and this is, pay attention to the symbols here, because now we don't have, you know, we, the order is important. The plus sign is here, so our add-ins, right, our, our parts, our add-ins have to go on either side of the plus sign, and our total has to go here. So this is one of those where the total goes first. So um, that's the thing, and how many kids does she play with at the park? Count them all, right? One, two, three. Six, seven, eight, nine. There's nine, and our add-ins are three girls and six boys. She plays with nine kids. 